Hi there, I'm Larissa and welcome to today's video. Previously, you learned about novel techniques in genetic engineering and you were introduced to GMOs in agriculture. Today, we want to present a specific example, golden rice, which has great potential in fighting vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A is a micronutrient important for our eyes, skin and immune system. The major source for vitamin A are animal products. Beta-carotene is a precursor molecule that gets converted to vitamin A in our body. It is found in fruits and vegetables. Rice does not contain any beta-carotene. Therefore, in communities that depend on rice as their predominant food source, vitamin A deficiency is a major health problem. 250 million preschool-aged children suffered from vitamin A deficiency worldwide in 2012. Vitamin A deficiency compromises the immune system, especially of little children. In low-income countries, it leads to vision impairment, blindness and increased mortality caused by a weakened immune system. Providing vitamin A deficient children with beta-carotene could prevent up to a third of 2.7 million children under the age of 5 dying annually. This is where golden rice comes into play. Its development started in 1992 by two scientists from Zurich and Freiburg who published their results in 2000. In golden rice, two genes necessary for the biosynthesis of beta-carotene are added, leading to the accumulation of beta-carotene in the grain. While the first version of golden rice was relatively poor in beta-carotene, an improved version was developed in 2005 which produces at least 31 microgram per gram rice. This improvement was achieved by using tissue-specific promoters, as well as replacing one of the genes with its analog as found in maize. These 31 microgram beta-carotene per gram rice would be enough in a rice-based diet to mitigate vitamin A deficiency in adults and especially children under the age of seven. Despite its proven benefits and the major impact golden rice could have on child health, especially in Africa and Southeast Asia, its cultivation has not been established widely in any low-income countries. Some organizations, such as Greenpeace, are against the use of GMOs in agriculture in general. As argument against golden rice, Greenpeace refers to its delivery for vitamin A as not being effective. Indeed, the vitamin A uptake inside the body was found to be more efficient combined with the uptake of fat, which rice is poor in. However, it was found that eating golden rice would still be sufficient to mitigate the effects of vitamin A deficiency. Campaigns against GMOs also claim that there are no studies confirming the ecological and health safety. This is not true. In the last decade, there was a multitude of independent studies not finding any increased risk of genetically engineered golden rice compared to conventional breeds. Greenpeace also sees golden rice as a Trojan horse of the profit-oriented GMO industry, being only a superficially beneficial project to make the public more susceptible towards GMO crops. The organization claims a well-balanced diet to be the only solution to vitamin A deficiency. Indeed, this is an essential end goal, but it does not seem like it will be reached anytime soon, especially for the poorest people on the planet who cannot afford a highly balanced diet and therefore have no real choice. Golden rice is approved in some other countries but not all countries where people suffer from vitamin A deficiency. We already have the tools to solve part of this problem at our hands today. And it is sad to see that only lack of knowledge and wrong claims against GMOs are holding us back. Thank you for watching. To learn more about GMOs in agriculture and medicine, stay tuned 
for upcoming videos.